Hey guys, so today I went to the doctor again, trying to figure out this hip pain. I had MRI done a week or two ago. I think it was about a week and a half, two weeks ago. Um, and the results came in. It turns out that I have a torn labrum on the inside of my socket, which I don't honestly understand how that happened, but um, I do at the same time because when I got into my wreck, my, I hit my head. I hit the back of my skull and it crushed a chunk of skull in my brain about four inches, three and a half to four inches. Um, so there's that. Well, um, I went to the hospital for eight months. Within those eight months, my hip started growing bone. My brain told my left hip that I hurt it or something, and it started growing bone on it. The bone started looking like popcorn growing out the side of it. Beautiful stuff. Really painful for when therapists are poking you and moving you around. Yeah, not cool. But that was that. Um, they went in and they shaved it all. They shaved it all off. Made my my hip look like a hip, I guess, supposedly or something like that. But they radiated it, just trying to get to stop my brain from telling it to that it was hurt or something or other. Well. This radiation may have caused um, my my problems, and I was just doing some research. Labrum tear. It's not something quick. It doesn't happen suddenly. Usually, um, for me, I was riding my bicycle. Big whoop. Um, and. I, I don't know, I just got, I, I remember writing and I got home and I was like, whoa, something's not right. It's not like it hurt. It, it didn't hurt while writing. When I got off, it was not right. Something wasn't right there. So, yeah. Um, something with my doctor, he's... I don't even know. God has extremely blessed me with these incredible doctors. So my doctor, he knows a little bit about stem cell research. And he is, he is, um, what's the word I'm looking for? He's, he's participating. He's, He's doing his own stem cell research, or not his, um, he's doing his own stem cell injections. So, I don't know a whole lot about stem cell, but I guess you pull out the blood, and you find the good cells or something like that, and you hyperize them. I don't understand it exactly, but then you inject them again and it works. I was doing a, um, I was studying on Google, big, uh, a big, um, skull, uh, scholastic, uh, it's like Google scholars wrote, but it wasn't, it was just Google. Um, and I was just doing some research and it was saying it could take like, say I were to get the injection tomorrow or whenever it would take two to three months before I would start noticing and then it would continue to heal so I'm thinking well okay as far as I remember I pres I, I think they gave me the price tag of twelve to fifteen hundred dollars 
for three shots. And yeah, that's not exactly pennies. That's not pocket change for me. I don't have a whole lot of money, but to get out of this pain, I would be interested in doing that. And also, I mean, I've been on medication for, well, since my wreck, 15 years, but since this, this, since I hurt my hip, it's been two years, almost two and a half years, and it really hurts still. Um, thankfully I can, I can take the medication and it, it reduces, reduces the pain. So like, I, I'm fine without it, with, with the medication, but without the medication, I can't walk. It, it's no point in even crawling out of bed. So, that's been wonderful. Um... I, I don't know. So that's the big thing that I just found out today is my labrum was torn and I need to get that repaired. And I don't know exactly, like he suggested stem cell. And I trust his opinion, his and I mean, shoot, stem cell research, that, it just sounds cool. Uh, yeah, it, the stem cells are really, really good, I believe, as far as I can tell. So that's encouraging. But $1,500 for three shots. It was either, either um, three to $500 for per shot. I was like, uh. But... If this is what you got to do to 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 get back to normal, to feel better, it's, it's better than paying fifteen thousand dollars or whatever. That's another thing; insurance will not cover it, which is sad. Insurance doesn't cover a lot of stuff. In, insurance doesn't cover hyperbarics, which I personally believe hyperbarics is huge. That is a huge healing factor. For me, I don't know, God, God really worked some mir miracles there because he got me into, I think, a hundred, over a hundred sessions of hyperbarics and insurance paid for it. And then insurance came back and they're like, we didn't pay for that. Yeah, you did. So yeah, um, that's, I'm kind of getting off subject. I don't have the money right now to get this stem cells shot. I'm not going to have it for a couple months. I don't know. Maybe they can do it before Christmas. We'll see. But that's that. Fun, fun, fun. So there's my little update as far as right now. <laughs> And if you have any any idea, any suggestions on what stem cell, like, do you know anything about it? I don't know. I'm just, I'm interested in it. I'm really interested in it actually right now. Because if if it can help, why don't we do a lot more of it? I don't know. All right. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.